I want to welcome everybody back to episode six of Time Out for Black History. I've been posting a few of my podcast, uh, Things White Guys Say, uh, that I do with my friend from high school, Dr. Josh Luke, um, just to give you kind of some more up-to-date information, stuff we talk about that's more current. Now, if you watch them, you'll see a lot of that stuff is closely connected to kind of the experiences we're going to be talking about as we move through the black experience chronologically. Um, and so I'm also going to be hoping to shorten the length of these videos a little bit to give you a chance to watch them in one sitting um, and maybe come back and watch another part of it later on um, if I start doing it in a couple parts. Um, I'm also asking for people to comment, you know, leave a comment about something you found interesting. Leave a comment about something you'd like to learn about, you know, leave some comments down there so I can begin to interact a little bit with you and, and be able to improve the show uh, so that it's something that, that you engage with a little bit more. So we generally think about 1619 again as the start date. And the thing everybody learns is that blacks were slaves from when they came. We dis we already dis dispelled that myth. We talked about Anthony Johnson, that it wasn't a no matter what thing. The individual we're going to talk about today, his name was John Punch. And we're going to talk about him today because he is the beginning of what's going to become known as chattel slavery in the English colonies and eventually in America. Uh, we generally track John Punch from around 1630. And he's an indentured servant working the land like white indentured servants. He's on an indentured servant contract. And he runs away with two other indentured servants who happen to be white. They're tired of their indentured status. They want a new beginning. They run away. They're captured. And they're brought back and they're tried for breaking the contract. The two white indentured servants both receive additional time put onto their indentured servant contract. And John Punch, he receives lifelong servitude. So it's the first documented case of lifelong servitude. This is July of 1640 that we see this take place. So this is the beginning, the beginning of what is going to become the Americas that, that we know. Now, there's a couple really interesting, interesting things about John Punch. So he's, he's a, a relative, an ancestor of a very prominent American, Barack Obama. He's the 11th generation great-grandfather of Barack Obama. We know that through both DNA testing and through the genealogical reports that were available at the time. Now, what's even more interesting is that now to me that ain't all that interesting because again I, we talked about before only 400,000 blacks ever arrived on the shores of the English colonies and those 400,000 are going to eventually become the 30 odd million that occupy the country today so those 30 million are generally the descendants of those four minus the people who have uh, migrated immigrated here in in the uh, time in between so the thing to me that's even more interesting is Barack Obama has a black father and a white mother. John Punch's relation to him is not through the father's side, but through the mother's side. And the reason that's possible is because John Punch was actually married to a white woman. Now, again, that counters everything we hear moving forward miscegenation laws, banning black and white relationships, all these things. In the early years of these colonies, those things didn't exist yet. Those are things that are going to be brought on, not because it's just the way it was, but because of policies that were designed to improve the lives of some and hurt others. So it really is, he, he's a great example of the early colonies and the evolution of what became uh, chattel slavery. Now, in the next episode, I'm going to be looking at, which is part two of this episode, we're going to be looking at the next series of laws that cover the next 40 years 
that ingrain slavery into these colonies, that ingrain to be black meant to be a slave in these colonies. So tune in. I look forward to it. And please, again, subscribe to the channel, share it. I'm going to keep bringing information. I want you to keep writing that information down, keeping a log of what, what I'm talking about so that you can go back, look at it. And I promise you in the end, you're going to be a more fulfilled person about that information, about the information. You're going to be more comfortable talking about things that you haven't been comfortable talking about in the past. So again, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when my videos come out. Thank you.